What's up everybody, it's your boy Maddie, and today I'm going to build a PC that isn't crazy overpriced. Thanks to my viewers, over the last six months I have made around 600 bucks with Amazon affiliate links. And I used most of that money to buy the parts for this build video. The things that I didn't buy for this video because I already had them is the Ryzen 5 3600X. This is the CPU I took out of my system when I replaced it with the 3900X. And I would be using the Wraith Prism Cooler that came with my 3900X. But what I recommend getting is a Ryzen 5 3600 non-X because you can get those for a decent price right now. All right, now for the parts that I bought for this video. We've got a crucial P1 500 gigabyte NVMe M.2 solid state drive. We've got 16 gigabytes of Team Group Dark Z 3600 megahertz RAM. We've got a gigabyte B450M DS3H version two motherboard. Now I have used the first version of this motherboard many times before. Now the big thing I see that this version has over the first version is that it does support 3600 megahertz speed memory. The first version only supported up to 3200 megahertz. Okay, so we have this cheap 650 watt semi-modular power supply from a brand called Goldenfield. I got this because it was a good price for a 650 watt semi-modular 80 plus bronze rated power supply. Okay, so you've probably already seen it sitting here. For the case, we have the Cooler Master Masterbox MB311L with ARGB fans. And for the graphics card, we have the NVIDIA GTX so I had originally planned this build with a GTX 780 Ti that I got from a guy on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks, but... So yeah, I got ripped off. I can't even get this thing to post. That's why if you can, you should buy locally in person instead of having something shipped on Facebook Marketplace. Luckily, I got my money back with PayPal and I get to keep that e-waste. All right, now once I realized that that card wasn't gonna work out for this build, I got back on Facebook Marketplace and I found someone selling this, a Galaxy GTX 465 for 20 bucks. And I've already tested it and this one works great. The GPU in this build was already just going to be a placeholder until newer cards become more available. And even though this GTX 465 is around 11 years old, it's still a little bit more powerful than the best integrated graphics you can get right now. And it's still going to allow us to play a few games until those newer cards become available. And as soon as you can get your hands on one of those newer cards, you already have everything you need for a baller system. All right, let's build this thing.
All right, it looks like we got a successful test boot. And there you have it, an affordable PC that will get you by until you can find an affordable, powerful graphics card. Honestly, the worst part about this build is the case. While this case does look nice and it has good airflow, the metal is very cheap and flimsy. This case was only 60 bucks, but it feels more like a $40 case. I'm gonna cross my fingers and try really hard to get one of the new Radeon 6700 XTs and put it in this system when it comes out. I'll put out another video as soon as possible benchmarking this system with the GTX 465. Get subscribed so you don't miss that benchmark video and maybe check out some of my other videos. All right, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have fun.